Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior will come. You need no longer fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pause for a while. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord, our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, and lives of the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed forever be his right glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. 
Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Maayong aga sa inyong tanan. As one family, let us continually pray for the grace that all of us will truly be prepared for the coming celebration of the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we will be able to know and love Him more. Naalala ko lang po yung isang simpleng kwento. Meron pong old man na ang kanyang work ay firewood cutter sa isang mission hospital. Pero during his spare time, he made it a point na mag-share po ng gospel and his faith to the outpatients of the hospital in the waiting room. So araw-araw po ginagawa niya to, to the sick and suffering people. Pero meron po siyang naramdaman sa kanyang eyes and he consulted a doctor. At sabi ng doctor sa kanya, I have something difficult to tell you. You will go blind and we can do nothing about that. So sabi ng ganun ng old man, ah, I am already old and I will be blind. So parang meron siyang fear that I will become useless. Like for example po, ako magsisenior pa lang. Pag medyo may yung mata mo, eh, nagkaroon ng konting uh, abirya, no? parang natatakot ka. How much more for this person na mabubulag na daw siya. So this person, hindi na po siya nag-report sa hospital for many days. At yung doctor ay nag-aalala na rin kasi baka na-depress eh, di ba? Because of that negativity. Although yung negativity daw po ay 10 letters and passivity is also 10 letters. So nasa atin yung choice. So ginawa ng doctor, hinanap niya yung tao. At nung natanto niya yung bahay and talk with that old man, what are you doing now? Sabi ng old man, alam niyo po, Doc, 
nung sinabi niyong mabubulag na ako, ay dito na lang po ako nag-stay sa bahay and I am trying to read and memorize the important parts of the Gospel of Jesus. Yun po ang aking ginagawa. At right now po, na-memorize ko na yung birth of Jesus, several of His parables and miracles, at saka yung death and resurrection. Sabi niya, wag po kayong mag-alala in a week's time. Although I will be blind, I will continue to share the gospel and my faith to those people, yung mga outpatients. So very inspiring po. And I can say that that blind person found the best solution in his situation because he is a man of God. He is a man of faith. And he, katulad din po niya, is St. Joseph in our Gospel of today. Nagkaroon po ng difficult situation si Joseph when he learned that Mary was conceiving a child. Hindi niya pa alam that it is through the Holy Spirit. And because of that, si Joseph po is a righteous man. Meaning, a man of God, a man of faith. Gagawin niya lang kung ano ang mabuti. No? According to the will of God. And what is good for people? Uh, for Mary. At ang nangyari po, ang kanyang best solution is to divorce Mary quietly. Pero po, baka may danger, no? Baka later on, pag nalaman na si Mother Mary is pregnant, we know without a man. We know the punishment during that time to be stoned to death. So ngayon, dahil po being a man of faith, God is the one who made a way to give the best solution to the trial, yung pagsubok po ni Joseph. So the angel of God appeared to him in a dream and told him, Do not be afraid of taking Mary as your wife. It is by the Holy Spirit that she conceived in her womb, no, the child Jesus. And when Joseph awoke, he did as the Lord instructed him. So, in that difficult situation, Joseph found the best solution because of being open to God, being a man of God, being a man of faith. At naniniwala po ako, lahat tayo ay dumadaan sa trials and difficulties. At isa po rito ay yung struggle against COVID-19. At alam po natin, nung una nating na-experience, hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin natin. We are at a loss. And with my own personal experience po, in uh, September 2021, my eldest sister was stricken with COVID-19 Delta. And he was confined to the hospital. At nakita po yung kanyang x-ray. She was in bad shape already. But you know, my sister was positive. Sabi niya, may mission pa akong gagawin. Kaya parang uh, hoping pa siya to survive. Pero alam niyo po, after three days, inuwi na po siya sa bahay, abo na po. Was cremated. She did not survive the COVID-19 And you man, as I am, as a priest, I was also asking God why did that happen to her? And especially, anong mangyayari sa mission? Actually, yung mission pong yun, sinir ng ate ko sa akin, meron po kasing two members in the family who are in conflict, not talking with one another, and it disturbed the peace of the whole family. So yun po ang intention ng aking kapatid na with me, pagbabatiin po na namin. Pero paano na? She died already. But you know po, when we told that two members of the family, this is the intention of ate, mag-reconcile kayo, no? And with her death and suffering no, from that sickness, alam nyo po, easily nag-agree, madaling nag-agree yung two members at talagang nag-reconcile sila. I know, that is difficult. Pero when they reconciled, it brought peace to the world. So with regard to the death of Ate, 
Alam naman po natin that Christian death is something positive. Sabi nga ni Therese of the Child Jesus, I am excited to die because I will meet my Creator, di ba? So, dapat we should not fear death because that is a gift of God towards eternal life. And at the same time, I am happy because yung mission pong sinasabi ng ate ko, God was the one who made a way in order to resolve that conflict and brought greater blessing and peace with the family. So my dear brothers and sisters, habang nandito po tayo sa mundo, nagjo-journey, hindi tayo free sa trials and difficulties. But if we will try our best to always be a man and woman of faith, a man and woman of God, entrusting everything to Him, God will be the one to make the best solution and bless our path, our journey towards one day a being with Him in His kingdom. So let us thank God for that grace, for being with us, being Emmanuel, and let us pray for the grace that all our life, although we are not perfect, we will focus on God in following His will. Amen. John the Baptist was a man sent from God. Jesus affirmed that his baptism was of heavenly origin. In the season of Advent, let us heed the baptizer's call for repentance and a change of heart. Let our response be, Lord, grant us your salvation. Lord, grant us your salvation that following the courage and faithfulness of John the Baptist, may church leaders persevere in preaching the gospel of Christ in season and out of season, or even when they face refusal or opposition, we pray. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your salvation. That our political and civil leaders may be imminently useful to the people over whom they preside by encouraging due respect for virtue and religion and by restraining vice and immorality, we pray. Lord, Lord grant, grant us, us your, your salvation. salvation. That the light of the Savior, the Son of David, may cast light on the darkness of our hearts and fill us with joy at his coming, we pray. Lord, Lord, grant, grant us, us your, your salvation. salvation. That cleansed of the stain of original sin at our baptism, may we walk in the newness of life by renouncing the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over us, we pray. Lord, Lord grant, grant us, us your, your salvation. salvation. That when we hurt others, we may be given the strength to apologize. And if people hurt us, may we may have the strength to forgive, we pray. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your, your salvation. salvation. Let us live up to the Lord all our intentions in this Mass and for our particular intentions. Lord God, you send John the Baptist to baptize your son, the author of baptism, and to point him out as the Lamb of Redemption. May we listen to his call to make ready for the coming of Christ, our Savior, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ. By us that our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold Him, the Virgin Mother longed for Him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of His coming and proclaimed His presence when He came. It is by His gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of His nativity, so that He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of Your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Patricio, our Bishop, Vicente, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead and us lead not us into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it her life to us who receive him. Lamb of God, you take away the, the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. But in the blood of the Lord bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Come, O Lord, visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart.
Let us pray. May we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple, O Lord, and show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace glorifying the Lord by our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.